Hello Milky Friends, Milk Stew here with you for another Idol Heroes video. How are you? I hope you are well. I'm back. <laughs> um, I'm not making videos full time again, just in case you're wondering, but I thought I'd give you a quick update on what's happened since I last made videos in December. I'm going to talk about, you know, uh, the whole video situation, what's up with my life, uh, and then where I see myself head in terms of the channel and what other videos I'm going to make. And then let's maybe talk about some of the funky new art that I've been noticing <laughs> and what my thoughts are on the art. So first things first, you know, where's Milk still been? Is he dead? Is he alive? Clearly I'm not dead because <laughs> um, I'm making this video as we speak. And for those of you who are into conspiracy theories, quite clearly I could not have pre-recorded this video because I would not have built this trash hero. <laughs> as Modell the Dauntless. I'm basically calling any hero that doesn't have any material impact on me in terms of PvP or PvE trash. And for me, as Modell the Dauntless is, is bordering on trash. He's not the best transcendent hero. I've waited and waited and waited and kind of wasted it. And now I'm kind of angry that I wasted my uh, hard-earned purple cots on that guy. But we are where we are. So I've just been busy, right? So first question, you know, where have you been? Uh, what's going on? Uh, I've just been busy since post Christmas, um, just with work. It work like got really stupid hard. Um, I'm not really enjoying it, and I'm kind of stuck in a rut professionally. But it the problem is it just pays so well. It's one of those things that, for those of you who are middle age, you probably will get me. It's kind of like you get into this position where you get this pretty cozy job. It's not that hard. Um, it you probably get the the best way to describe it is you get you probably get paid way more than what someone in your position should be get paid, should be getting paid for what you are doing. So that's the best way to describe where I'm at. Um, and because of that, you kind of just go through the me the mechanics of doing this job. And and that's my greatest fear. Like I've been in this position once before where I chased the money, did the job, and I was just going through the mechanics of doing the job. Like it, it wasn't, I didn't live and breathe it. It wasn't like my life. What's the best? It's not my, it's not like it's my, I don't necessarily need the money to survive. I could, Australia has a very generous unemployment system. I could just live off that for the rest of my life and just make these useless videos that no one ever watches. But yeah, I'm stuck in a rut. I'm trying to basically get to a position where I don't have to worry about money for the rest of my life. And in doing that, you kind of compromise your true moral, not moral, but your true North Star in terms of what you want to do in life and exploring what it is that gets you out of bed because it's not work that gets me out of bed, right? It's just being, it's, it's, it's just not avoiding being screened up by my boss, basically. Work used to get me out of bed, used to get me excited, but not anymore. Um, so, yeah, busy with work, that, and Idol Heroes, I mean, I was getting tight. It was starting to feel like just a rut as well there in terms of just the kind of videos I was making. It's, uh, it's the same constant value analysis, like just the same kind of packs that we were seeing. Um, not very much new gameplay. I don't test heroes. Um, and not that they released any good heroes recently. So that was... I could have made videos about more value analysis, but you're like, what the fuck for? Right, like, milked over, you got your spreadsheet. Um, so I don't know why you guys watch my video. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of new content now with Gave the Void and Void Arc, and there's a whole bunch of math behind that, which admittedly, I have not been across. I'm just feeling my way through it for once. In my life, without building a spreadsheet, and you're probably like, well, what's going on? If you're not building spreadsheet, milk, so what the, what's up with that? So... That's why I've been making videos, uh, and this is that's why this is my first video for basically two months. I'm just royally bored. Um, work is kind of slowing down, and I can get back into like just other things in life. So that's what you're kind of seeing uh, this video right now. And so probably that's a nice segue into the next question: Are you going to be making videos weekly again? Probably not. I might. I may or may not. Depends on how I feel. Uh, if I feel the jive, why not? Uh, I'm I'm probably going to sit down this afternoon and make a whole bunch of videos and I'm just going to release them over time. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to go back to the old ways of a video a week or sometimes even more. It's just, this game is, is funny. I'm going to make a video about, I think, where this game's headed. Um, it, it, it's, it's just so different. It's it's clearly split in half. There are the basically old players and then I think there are the new players. And I think the new players are like confused as hell and if they can't pick it up or get anywhere quickly, they'll drop off. So I think this, this if I were to be truly hypothetical, not hypothetical, hypo hypothesis driven about where I think this game is at, my hypothesis is that this game is basically 
80% of the money that they make is from existing players and they've been around since the start. Uh, and it's this pool of players that they're catering towards and it's slowly dwindling over time. But I think this pool of loyal, dedicated players, they spend so much money, or they spend so much money and continue to spend so much, so much money that it's worth continuing their, their current efforts. But this game is slowly dying. Make no doubts about it. Um, so maybe let's just do a video. I'll do a video after this about where I think the game's headed. So they're the last. <laughs> That's life update. That's my situation of making videos. Then if I look at where the art is going. So obviously there's been a lot of memes on... Memes, sorry, I call, the, I call them memes. Uh, they're memes. Memes on um, Reddit about the way the art is evolving. And it's apparent that they've changed their direction in terms of art, right? So there's the old art. The old art was beautiful. It was very detailed, um, almost comic-like, like, like super sophisticated. And you would have seen the amount of time and effort, I reckon, it would go into make something as animated and detailed as this. You look at the detail uh, in the face, the very sharp lines, right? With Amin Ra, um, with, even with up until Rogan, uh, with Garuda, the beautiful detail. Look at the detail. It's very sharp, defined lines, right? Ignis. Compare that now with... Uh, you got that with Sherlock. So it was basically all the way up to Asmodel. I think Asmodel was where you started to see the change. Because even Tussie, right? You look at Tussie, she still kind of retains the old world art. A lot of detail, a lot of sharp lines. Um, where you started seeing the transition in the design of heroes was basically, obviously with the three stars and now the four stars. But with respect to the five stars, I don't think they're going to do the old ones. I think that's just too much. I think people are going to have a whole upheaval because people don't give a shit about five, uh, the four stars. But people absolutely good. People give a damn more about five stars than they do about four stars, especially the art. Um, and so I think in terms of evolution, they're slowly bringing the new five stars into the new format of art. And the new format of art for me is what I call the the flat, simple graphics, right? So see how the lines, there's 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 less detail. Um, I don't have a before and after to show you, but there's obviously less detail. Um, it's, it's a much flatter, less expressive and less complex piece of artwork, right? So I think they can crank these out like just really quickly. I compare this with like, say the old world art, sharp lines, a lot of detail, like here. If you look at the new world art, so the four stars, right? It, it, it fills the whole canvas, right? Which is kind of stupid. Like, you look at how much real estate they, they fill up. They're basically trying to fill the whole thumbnail canvas. Just the whole picture. Very little detail. Look at this. No eyes. Just sort of like a bunch of shapes, right? So, th that's the new eye. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. It's just, just sorely lacking detail. There's just no detail in, in, in the artwork now. It's just like flat, round type art and look if that's the way they're going i could probably get it from a point of view of like it definitely probably speeds up art development for new heroes because the art is obviously quite hard and intensive to do especially when they move like that it's hard to draw detailed stuff um and all the little movements right contrast this with this looks like it's basically generated by a computer program right just because it lacks any detail i think the old art they hand drew it this one they got a machine to do it and so they can like do all these more fluid movements and it's probably less ui intensive on on the pc um i think that's why they've moved away from the the old world to the new world um i mean sigmund you could argue is not that detailed but like the the art from before was just beautiful just beautiful to look at now it's just it's just fucking tragic look at that uh it's just it's just Quite frankly, <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they're going. It's more cartoony, definitely. Um, they're probably trying to appeal to a younger demographic. I don't know why, because they don't have cash to blow. But the old world art, crisp, sharp lines, very detailed, quite beautiful. It's very clear there are two sort of artistic directions that they're headed in. Um, the new art director, to be honest, <laughs> is probably the son of like a founder or something. And they're probably like, yeah, why not, you know, come and redo the heroes that no one cares about. Put it as part of your portfolio. But you know what? Everyone hates it, man. Um, and if they change the five stars, I just, I wouldn't know how I feel. It just, because right now I don't, as I'm doing the summons and the and, and, and the creation circles, I just don't recognize any of these heroes. I just don't know what the fuck I'm getting. Like, you look at these bottom heroes. 
it's hard to tell one from the other now because they all look so bloody similar. In the old days, it was because it was crisper um, and they weren't flat, uh, shapeless features. You could tell who the four stars and five stars were. Sorry, the four stars and three stars were. Now you can't tell. How do you distinguish Norma now from who the fuck this lady is? Um, Valeria? You can't tell. Bottom line, right? This blob, how is that different from this blob now? Right? They're all blobs, as far as I can tell. All of them. They're all blobs. <laughs> so, I think artwork-wise, definitely you're spending your time on the wrong things. Like, if you pay to get this done... Uh, I, as the creator or the devs behind Idol Heroes, I'd be like, what the fuck just happened? Like, seriously, you could have either given me more money um, rather than hire another art director, look for, like, work for him to do, and say, yeah, just, you know, work for the sake of doing work, just for keeping that person employed, um, which, look, altruistically, you'd be like, societal benefits, people should be employed, but as a fan of the game, as someone that has actually put hard-earned money into this game, um, I think it's a wrong move. I think it's. I feel like it's, you've wasted my money almost, right? Uh, so that's my thought on the arts. Anyway, that's the video for today. I will make more videos this afternoon, and I'll upload those over time. Thanks for watching, guys.